Shiny Alpha Pokemon are the most sought out things in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and we've been looking for them wrong this entire time. I'm gonna show you exactly how to look for them. Let's go. By now, a lot of you are very familiar with how to Shiny Mass Outbreak hunt. If you aren't, I have a whole entire ultimate guide that I dropped on my channel, as well as a detailed guide on how mass outbreak spawning works. Go ahead and check those two out if you're ever confused on the topic. From Jubilee Village, you simply just go into your map and you see all your mass outbreaks, right? You pick the one that you want. But the most important thing that we're going to be going over is exactly how do you get your shiny alpha Pokemon. So a very trustworthy data miner source has posted information on how exactly these outbreaks work. So if you can read this, it says outbreaks can only have one alpha Pokemon spawned at a time. As long as the alpha remains on the field, no more alphas will be spawned. It is advantageous to catch KO random alphas so more can spawn. This applies to other spawners as well. Now I'm going to play the video that they shown in this tweet, as you can see over here. So you see an alpha shiny Zorora spawned over here, right? And you can see that they're going to go ahead and just catch a random Pokemon. That is not an alpha. Okay. You then can see after they've caught this random Pokemon that has spawned, a shiny then appears. But as you can see, that shiny is a regular Pokemon. It's not an alpha shiny, right? So... We're going to go ahead and they're going to then show test number two, which you will see right now. So test number two is interesting. This time, they're going to be focusing on catching the specific shiny alpha Pokemon. Just like that. The shiny alpha Pokemon is caught. And then what you can see is another shiny alpha has spawned. This is actually really interesting. So the shiny Pokemon that you actually saw originally was supposed to be an alpha, but because of the condition of one alpha can be spawned in a mass outbreak at a time, that's why that Pokemon was not an alpha. But this time, when you catch that alpha Pokemon, the next one spawns in as an alpha Pokemon. And that's pretty much what this video is trying to tell you. So the most important thing is to catch the alpha Pokemon you see immediately when it shows up in a mass outbreak just in case another alpha Pokemon is programmed to spawn. Now, please note, all alpha Pokemon and shiny Pokemon are already predetermined from the moment you walk out of Jubilee Village into whatever area you're going into. So please do not think this is going to randomly cause an alpha Pokemon to spawn or a shiny. This is just to make sure that you are going to get the alpha shiny Pokemon that you were hunting for. And these are taking all the precautions so you never mess that up so you can get that amazing, unique Pokemon. So to make it very simple for everyone, I created a graphic that really demonstrates what is happening in these mass outbreaks. Example one is going to be the top. You walk into a mass outbreak and you have the Sneasel one, two, three, and four. The Pokeball represents you catching all of them, right? And if you catch all of them, you're then going to get another set of four. That's the basic gist of how mass outbreaks work. Now let's talk about a different example. We're going back in. It's a whole new example. Take yourself to the second row now. You can see Sneasel 1, Sneasel 2, Sneasel 3, and Sneasel 4. You can see that Sneasel 2 is an alpha Pokemon. You catch Sneasel 1, you catch Sneasel 3, and you catch Sneasel 4, which means you're going to get different Sneasels that spawn. So Sneasel 5 is a shiny that spawns. And let's just say Sneasel 5 was the one that was programmed to be an alpha. Because you didn't catch Sneasel number 2 first, Sneasel 5 is just going to remain a shiny Sneasel. That's it. And then Sneasel 6 and 7 are going to spawn. And that's what's going to happen. So in this outbreak, you basically lost the opportunity to get yourself a shiny alpha Sneasel. Now, if you approach this exact same example on row two in the same way, you bump into Sneasel one, two, three, and four, and you focus on the Sneasel that is an alpha, immediately catch it, then guess what? Sneasel number five, then, which is was programmed to be the shiny alpha, is going to be the shiny alpha instead of just being a shiny Pokemon because you decided to take out the alpha Pokemon first. So therefore, the next one that spawned was the shiny alpha Sneasel. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to have this graphic up on my Discord, which you can join down below and you can download it to yourself. Uh, so make sure to check that out down in the description below. But that's pretty much how this works. If you're confused again, just go back. I don't want to make this video too long, but I just wanted to explain to focus on this one thing. So if there's anything that you need to take away from this video, it's really just that if you see a alpha Pokemon, catch it first and you may have the opportunity that a programmed shiny alpha might spawn next. That's it. I hope that this was very useful to everyone. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe if this helped you out, and you're going to apply to your mass outbreak shiny hunting. 
My name is Philly Beats You. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.